I'm uh, heading off tonight at about 10 o'clock. The reason to go at about 10 o'clock is the uh, if I get round Double Island Point, say you know around 10, 11 o'clock, and I head off, I'll get to Gagurin Shoals, which is off Malula Bar, just before the anchorage where all the ships are, by about five in the morning. Yeah, just looking out at the, at the sun going down, and I see two. People with kites there going along on the updraft along the hills, I think. They're certainly not losing height at the moment. Well, I hope they can climb again and get back to that sand dune they set off from, which is down by Rainbow Beach, which is about five nautical miles away. Well, it's seven o'clock now, and the sun's gone down. And there's a red boat over there, I don't know if you can see. It's an outreamer. Well, I had a nice meal and uh, too much. But uh, down at Rainbow Beach, there's about eight uh, parasailers up in the air. I'll have to come down soon. Well, having a good look, you know, and that's looking up and can you see the moon there? We're going round uh, Double Island Point. You can see that flash occasionally. That's the light. We've got the main and the jib up. And here we are on this. We're going pretty well actually. We've got the two sails up. Uh, there's not much wind out here and I'm going kind of directly nearly downwind. Uh, which is rather sad really. But uh, I'm going gonna, gonna to point up a bit now. But uh, everything's going okay. And it's a beautiful moonlit night. Yeah, there's there's Double Island Point there. That's where we were in the lagoon around here somewhere. Anyway, we're going okay doing 3.8, which is I'm happy with that at the moment. I can go downstairs, there's nothing around, have a 10 minute snooze and come back and have another look. That's looking down below. Got an iPad there going at the moment, and over there I've got the uh, my uh, cock basically. So I've got an alarm clock on a phone, and it's got a snooze alarm. So I'll set it for 15 minutes, and then the snooze alarm will go, and then I'll come up here and have a quick look round, and then I'll press the snooze alarm again and get another 15 minutes. Just woke up to uh, dawn, going along at about five knots, four and a half knots. The best we've done all night, to, to be honest. Well, we've 
had a good sail through the night really. Uh, the blowing not very hard and mainly behind and with the seas the, the, uh, the mains been flogging a bit but this is the best we've had and the winds come round so it's blowing offshore now when we were uh, all the way down till the last 20 minutes it's been uh, blowing right behind anyway it's really nice to have it on the uh, coming in on the beam and uh, we're going quite well <sighs> sorry I'm just a bit tired that's the headland uh, for Noosa. Well, there's sunrise. It's been a great night though because the uh, the moon it's been up all night, so it's it was basically you know nearly it wasn't daylight, but it was pretty good. looking behind somewhere down there is a uh, double island point I've uh, just put the protein line out you never know I can live in hope at the moment it'd be nice to take a mackerel home And there we go, that's on the iPad. We're doing 4.2 knots, which is about the best we've done all, all night, really. The wind's coming from over there now. And uh, I've got a finish line off Noosa. I'll have to uh, put another uh, plot in now to where we're going. Well, I've put another plot in to get us round uh, off Malula Bar there. It's Gagorin Shoals. So that's where I am. That's where we're uh, heading next. That's my next plot, basically. I didn't care where we ended up off Noosa, basically. It was just uh, wherever I could get with the wind. Anyway. Everything's going pretty well. It's five o'clock in the morning now and they reckon it's going to take me five hours basically to get to uh, the, the finish line again off Malula Bar but uh, I'm hoping we'll be a bit quicker than that. We're only doing three knots, three to four knots at the moment. I'm hoping we're going to get a bit of a puff and get on at six. Well, it's nice to see dolphins. I don't think they'll stay long with me though. I mean, I don't give them enough push. Well, looking ahead, that is Malula Bar and that is Maruchidor over there in the centre of the screen. It's now eight o'clock in the morning and I'm uh, just still uh, lying down you know for 15 minutes and have a bit of a look uh, trying to recover from the evening uh, through the evening from 10 o'clock through it was 
all banging last night, you know. You were going along at about three to four knots, but it was banging. The sail was flogging, you know, bang, bang, because the swells are quite large. Anyway, boat's going well now. We're doing about five knots. I've got one boat behind. There's a sailing boat, a lot bigger than me. And he's coming. I think he's motoring. He's not far behind now. He's about uh, two miles behind. So we'll find out when he gets closer if he's motoring or not. Or he's a very slippery boat, one or the other. Yeah, why I'm here, I can... Uh, look at the uh, iPad and it tells me where we are so all's good This is my iPad here. There you go. So there, there we are, and uh, this is M Malula Bar over here, and this is Gagorin Shoal. Basically, we're crossing it here. We want to be down this way a bit more, but I'm just waiting to see in a minute what we do. because I just don't want to sail in light winds with the wind directly behind me if I can help it. Well, we're off, coming to be off Caloundra now and we, uh, we're going to come basically up the shipping channel oops, it's moving okay. go up the shipping channel and down and along Bribe here and out the shipping channel so that's the plan and uh, it's now 11 o'clock. I'm just sitting down. Sorry, I'm sitting down out the uh, sun. I've got Brisbane VTS, which is on channel 12, which tells me what's Sorry, happening please. with the boats. And uh, we're doing quite well. We're doing, at the moment, on here, we're doing about five, five and a half knots. And uh, everything's pretty good. I'll show you outside now. Yeah, looking out to sea, this is all the park ships. There's quite a few, I think there's 11 or 12 out here. And under the boom there is Caloundra. And I think we kind of enter the channel about in the center of the screen over there. I'm going to uh, start uh, steering by hand in a minute and get myself over there. It, uh, the autopilot doesn't like to go dead downwind because uh, I've got it on a, a very sloppy course thing so it doesn't alter course very often. Anyway. We're getting there, I've got to want to get round the end of Bribey Island and then I'm going to put the anchor down and go to sleep and uh, think about uh, when I go into Brisbane. That's Malula Bar down there or Point Cartwright. And this is Cloundra. And at the centre of the screen in there is uh, Cloundra Surf Lifesaving Club. It's a very nice place to go and have a meal. For all those people in Brisbane, if you want a day out. It's air conditioned with a beautiful uh, uh, glass uh, screen all the way along, air conditioned. And uh, right in front there is uh, the Glasshouse Mountains. There's three of them. 
There's one right on the bow and there's two over there in the centre of the screen. We, this is Bribey Island under here and we're going to go right to the end of Bribey Island which is quite a long way up actually, way up there. Uh, but I want to get out of the shipping channel, so I'm going to go over, you know, a bit closer to Bribey Island, so I'm out the channel, and then I'll uh, head on up. We're really cracking along, it's about oh, 20 knots of breeze now. <clears throat> well, we've got about a knot of tide against us, and we're doing about five to six knots over the ground. Well, I've still got the protein line in the water. I haven't caught anything yet, though. That's why we turned at Caloundra to right down there. And we're doing pretty well, to be honest. As you can see, the, the water's going by pretty quick. We're going round the end of Bribey Island on the southern end now and we're up here just there and we'll come down here and then we'll follow that blue round if we can and come in down here down there and we're going to anchor about there somewhere I think out the wind and have a bit of a sleep and work out what we're doing next. This is the end of Bribey Island. I'd be really pleased to get here to be honest. Get round the corner and then we're getting very close to be able to put the anchor down. Well, I've just been downstairs and studied both of these with a different pair of glasses on. And uh, basically I've got a head. Start turning in a minute. There's a red buoy over there, but it's miles in front. But uh, I think it'd be better to turn sooner than later. There's the end of the island, and we're going to go round there and into the Bribey Passage. We're going up the, uh, up into the Bribey Passage. There's a bridge in front, we can't go by that, but there's a load of boats anchored over there, so I expect that's where we're going. Sorry, I forgot to film it. Um, bit tired. We've uh, started off this morning and uh, we were uh, anchor where the cross is and we're right up the top of the screen now doing 5.1 knots. And we're going to go, we're going to go basically go a little bit further I think and then cut across there and there's a red mark over here. We've got to go around that to avoid these sandbanks. Cardinal Mark here which says keep south of. That's looking back at Bribey and the bridge. Had a good comfortable night in there actually. I shouldn't have gone in so far though but uh, you never can tell. Well, 
in front, the center of the screen's a uh, Ford and Mark. We have to go around that. And that is Scarborough in there. And then you've got the Red Cliff. And then right over there, I don't know if you can see in the center of your screen, is the docks. Anyway, I'm going hell for leather at the moment. See if I can get there before the tide turns. Over on the starboard side, you can see the Glasshouse Mountains from here. You know, they look absolutely tremendous. It'd be lovely if the sun was out. Well, there's a little bit of tide, but not much running. And those cormorants are well trained, none of them moved. Passing Red Cliff. Yeah, it's the last peninsula we'll pass on the way to the docks. I see along the whole peninsula there's three cranes. So the economy's not stuffed yet. On our way up the river now, this is the first container vessel. Uh, I don't know what's happening, doesn't seem to be any boxes getting moved that I can see. There's a person fishing here. Quite a lot of fishing right in where the container vessels are, but I haven't seen anybody catch anything. Here's the next ship, Tokyo Trader. Yeah, that's uh, working a few containers. Got it now. He was having a bit of trouble latching onto that one.
picking up the container. And away he goes. This is Costco shipping. And uh, I think they're waiting to go, I reckon. We've got here the Blue Ridge Highway. They're taking off a fair few uh, bits of kit off there. vessel, well maintained. Columbia, that's a, a nice vessel there, and that's unloading bulk cement. This is the uh, policer at the top end, and then you've got my cat, and then you've basically, I don't know, there's port security there, and then you've got Svitsvar, I think it is, which is for the tugs, and there's one, two, three, four, five tugs there, and there's two up the river. So uh, they've got seven tugs in all at the moment here. And my cat's just leaving the terminal, off back up to Tangaluma again. It's nice to see they've actually painted the uh, marks now, they're actually green. They before they, they were the same colour as the post is kind of I reckon a camouflage army green very hard to see when you're coming out going by uh, Rivergate now and the boat there obviously somebody's having a birthday today white red and pink balloons I'm sure it's a woman And then we've got this uh, this boat here <clears throat> with a helicopter on top. All flat. And 
and it's no comment. Another one here called Motai's. I'm just going to pass under the Gateway Bridge. can't hold my hands up any longer so that'll do. We've got Lana Nari here. Uh, I guess I don't know what the writing is. But it's loading sugar. That's what that dust is. Didn't think sugar made dust but there you go. I made it back from Bribey to the sailing club. My wife's coming up to pick me up, so I'm in a bit of a rush. But uh, I couldn't get on my mooring because somebody's on it. So I've uh, hired a club mooring for a while till I can uh, find the owner and get him uh, to move, move off. There's the club over there. I think it might have changed color. It's gray now, it used to be yellow. Looks a lot better actually. And the club pontoon is in the centre of the screen. And looking down the river, there's a blue boat there in the centre of the screen and my mooring is behind that. And over there, which is Newstead I suppose, is the one of the most expensive uh, places to uh, buy a house. That and uh, Belimba Reach. I'm just le I'm leaving the boat now. I've just, I'm going to leave the outboard on and if it gets stolen, it gets stolen. I can't be bothered to uh, lug it home at the moment. Uh, nor the dinghy which is on the deck. I've uh, tied the the rudder up like this this time uh, I think this might be better and uh, nothing can uh, move got the old uh, slug there ready to take me back I've got the uh, front got a, a rope and a preventer and I've got a rubber dinghy on the deck here uh, I, I don't think it'll get stolen so he does, he does. So, you know, anyway. Uh, I'm gonna, got to take a load of gear off the boat and I've got to wait for my son to bring the car back. He's gone camping for a, till Thursday. Just, wo just woke up to uh, dawn. going along at about five knots, four and a half knots. The best we've done all night, to, to be honest. <laughs> 